From Los Angeles, the number one Southern California Trojans are at home against number seven California Golden Bears. In 2004, SC and Cal met each other as top ten teams for the first time in a half century. Previous year, Cal had upset the Trojans in a triple overtime game. It is good and Cal pulls the upset. SC had won 13 straight games since then, while the Bears arrived at the Coliseum on a six-game winning streak themselves. Trojans' first drive would stall, but Pete Carroll elected to go for it on fourth and ten. That's why they call him you-know-what, Pete. Throw it down the middle, the receiver goes way up in the air. Six foot five, Dwayne Jarrett, the freshman from New Brunswick, New Jersey, and makes the catch for a first down. They go inside with it, the White touchdown. Just too many weapons, Keith. Next Cal possession, and the Bears also chose to gamble on fourth down. They got him short of it. Beanbag goes down out of the referee's pocket. They stop him a yard short. Liners passes away down the middle, completed to Steve Smith. And Smith's inside the five-yard line. USC had to settle for a Ryan Killeen field goal to lead 10 to nothing after the first quarter. Good. Second quarter, Cal got on the board with a field goal of their own and then held the Trojans on the ensuing possession. Malone just killed it. Holy smoke with the Howard Chip. Fumbled it. Trojans have it. Going to be a touchdown. Keith, they're not going to give him a touchdown, though. You can't advance a muff fumble on a, a muff on a punt. So the ball will be marked at the 11-yard line. Hopefully somebody's going to tell that young man he doesn't quite have a touchdown. With the ruling, the Trojans could only capitalize with another Killeen field goal to go back up by 10. Despite all of Cal's early miscues, quarterback Aaron Rodgers was underway on a record day, completing all 12 of his passes in the first half. Very accurate. Rodgers, a lot of open field, has a man, throws it quickly, he eludes him, and touchdown in the corner for Jeff MacArthur. SC responded with a last-second Killeen field goal to lead 16 to 10 at the half. So he collects from 31, 33, and now 42. Trojans got the ball to start the second half and quickly opened their biggest lead of the game. As time passes away, pass is completed to Steve Smith. Leonard goes down the middle into the end zone. Dwayne Jarrett, touchdown. No play. But Rodgers stayed perfect for Cal. Tying an NCAA record with 23 straight completions. Down the middle, MacArthur from the two. They're on it right in the pipe. And it's a touchdown. Leading only by six now, Reggie Bush with one of his signature returns. Coming up to the 10 15, out to the 20 25. Oh, here we go. Sixteen yard line. But SC would fail to capitalize. Back into the end zone and intercepted. California's going to run it out. Harrison Smith. But USC's defense held tough in the fourth quarter, finally slowing down Rogers. Sack. With under five minutes to go, Cal got the ball back with a chance for a game-winning drop. Runs away from the pressure, gets one block upfield. That's enough to get him to the sidelines. Rogers looking and throws. Jeff MacArthur. That set up first and goal from the nine, and one of the biggest goal line stands in USC history. And Rogers back. Passes away into the end zone. It is incomplete. Rogers looking around and tackled behind the line of scrimmage by Manuel Wright. Rogers back. Pressure coming. Look at around. Shopping. Throws. End zone. No. It is fourth down from the 14. Rogers throws in zone, no. Pass intended for Jonathan McConan. Pete Carroll had the perfect defense yes. called once again. SC and Cal would both win the rest of their games in 2004, making October 9th the difference between a national championship game for the Trojans and a holiday bowl for the Bears. We'll tell you what, the buck stops with you and you dialed up the perfect defense.
I'm really excited about that that they got down, done today because it took us a long day to get to this point, you know. They did a really nice job. They're a really fine football team. It's a great win for us. We're really excited about it because we did it here in front of all fans and it was a beautiful day at Trojan football.